this too, so you can have both of these. But again, right here on G, if you have G and you have the first, uh, first root note, that's the one, then you come up to the two, then over here to the three, four, five, six, seven, octave. There you go. Now, as we continue that, we go out over here to the second fret, okay? And then come up to the fourth fret, to the fifth fret, going over to the B string, we go to the second fret, or the third fret, excuse me, go to the fifth fret. Then we come over and go to the second, third, and fifth. Okay? Memorizing that pattern, now you can play all of those uh, in, in any key. If you said, okay, well, what are, what's the major scale in the key of A? You move it up to A. Same thing with the key of B. And so on. Now the reason why, if, you, if you're thinking about a bar chord and the way that a bar chord is laid out, we go back to our G bar chord. We're going to press down all the strings on the third fret. That gets our root. Then we have our fifth. We're pr pressing down with the ring finger. Pinky grabs the octave. We're gonna come over here with the middle finger and grab the third, the high octave of the third. And you don't really have to know all of those intervals all the time to know exactly where everything is. You just know that this is a major chord shape and this is a minor chord shape by lifting up the finger, which flats the third. Now, the idea of this is think about how many chords you know now. Because if you go down here, let's go down to F. If you have F major, F minor, we can actually start down here with E. We don't have to use the bar because the nut is grabbing that note for us. E major, E minor. Then we come up to F, F major, F minor, F sharp major, F sharp minor, G major, G minor, G sharp major, G sharp minor, A major, A minor, A sharp major, A sharp minor, B major, B minor, C major, C minor, C sharp major, C minor, look at this, D major, D minor, D sharp major, D sharp minor, E major, E minor, we've started over here now that it, we're at the 12th fret where there's two dots, everything now starts over and repeats. But think about how many chords that is that you're learning. So you could essentially look at a song that's written in any key and go, well, I can find the major or minor chords of those, of those, in, and I could play them all on the E string. Now that would be crazy, like having to go up and down the, the fretboard, but at least you start to know where notes are on the, on the 